top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 8th, 2018. So yesterday, my goodness, did the market get all inspired and move sharply higher. That makes from low to high here on the Dow, we're looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the low from the low to the high, we have now rallied over 2,000 points in virtually a straight up move. So what does that mean? Well, obviously the market has a lot of momentum to the upside. And what that means for us is the possibility that we have overreached to the long side um, is, has now occurred. So the potential of a pullback um, is certainly um, something we have to consider um, as a trader that this this meteoric rise back up which is okay I mean it's wonderful to see the market responding higher but um, we have to realize that at some point in time there will be some profit taking come into play and we're going to have to um, respect that and just be watchful for that to occur. Now, I'm not going to suggest that it's going to happen today, that we're even going to see much of a pullback today. Today, we have a massive number of earnings, and we also have the FOMC that the market can react to today. So I'm not su certainly uh, suggesting that um, any major selling has to come into play. But at some point in time, we do want to um, take note of the fact that uh, the market will likely want to come back and test some level of support. Now, where that level of support will be, I don't know. Um, we do have this um, huge trend going on here. Very, very sharp uh, V-type bottom in the market. And, you know, a pullback into here, which now is going to be, you know, a substantial pullback in the market, would not be out of the question. Um, it could also pull all the way back down into here which would not be out of the question. So kind of keep that in mind as you plan your risk going forward. Um, I, I took a lot of profits yesterday, cleaned up my account significantly, um, you, you know, yay bulls. But at the same time, I want to be smart about how I move forward here in, um, in the next few days because I do think we have a significant risk uh, that profit takers will come in um, at, in, at any time. And it may not happen until next week, so kind of consider that. Um, SPY also massive, massive rally yesterday. As you can see, we crushed right through that 200-day moving average and we're pushing quickly up toward that 50-day moving average or those resistance levels <clears throat> in the market that we always have to be concerned about broke right through right through that major resistance level like it wasn't even there yesterday so any kind of a rest or pullback um, and this could be a consolidation that would be just as good um, rest or pullback um, certainly seems likely in the very near future so plan your risk carefully let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now, the NASDAQ um, did respond uh, uh, very, very strongly higher yesterday, but let's keep in mind it still has quite a little bit of work to do as well. There's uh, an awful lot of resistance up in here. And remember, um, nothing has changed as far as the trade negotiations or the trade war with China <clears throat> that initially created this sell off. So remember, nothing has really changed there other than maybe some of the attitudes of trying to get something together. Um, we can kind of expect that there will be a lot of, um, well, there'll be a lot of conversation out of Washington that could be very contradictory um, with the change of the House and things going on there. We could see a lot of tossing back and forth of that uh, trade war football um, that could move us around. So kind of keep in mind, really not a whole lot changed here um, in terms of that just yet. Of course, the attitudes toward it seem to have changed, and that is a good sign, but certainly uh, we're a long ways away from a deal um, with China. So keep that 
in the back of your mind as you're thinking about your risk going forward. IWM again rallied up nicely, slamming right into some resistance levels here. Again, that incredible V bottom. <clears throat> and you can see there is a possibility or that potential here, right? Right like that, to be that inverted head and shoulders type pattern that would require us to either consolidate or pull back to test some levels in there for that to occur. So I'm not, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see some selling come into play at any time here in the market. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX <clears throat> smashed right through this level of support yesterday. That was awesome to see. Fear coming out of that market, crashing it lower. Now we have this level of support in here which is a much more substantial support that could easily come into play. And if we do get some selling coming into the market over the next few days, we could bounce off of this area. Now that doesn't mean we get really fearful or anything like that. Just a little bit of bounce up off of that area would not be too big of a surprise. Let's take a look at the um, T2122. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. And here's where that concern comes in, where we were um, obviously um, very bearish down here and in that bearish reversal zone. We have now rallied in just a few days, um, a few trading days, eight trading days, we have rallied up here where we're testing that bearish reversal zone. So a complete parabolic type move up here. And that's what gives me a little bit of pause thinking that we likely will see some downside in the market, at least a little bit of consolidation to pull us back a little bit here in T2122. So kind of keep that in mind. Uh, amazingly sharp rally and um, those things always should make you just a little bit nervous about the potential of what comes next. Um, I'm not saying that you just have to be in full-on panic here. There's no signs of that, but just be a little bit cautious. All right. Hey, everyone. Um, I forgot to mention as we were moving along here this morning, if you could please do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook, click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. Um, I truly appreciate that. You guys can't even imagine how, um, how important that is for the algorithms to show these videos to more people. And you've been doing such a great job at doing that here re recently. I am truly humbled and grateful for all of the great comments. So I want to thank you for that. So if you guys would do me a favor, do you think a um, we're going to move higher before the end of the week or are we going to see a little pullback? If you could put that in the comments, I would certainly appreciate it. Um, also, kind of um, stick around here for the end of the video. I do have um, a couple of charts that we might want to take a look at that are possibly setting up for a trade. So with that, let's go ahead and let's take a look Oops, here we go. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar is a pretty busy day, as you can see. Darn it. Our economic... There we go. Got that fixed. Sorry about that. Our economic calendar is a pretty busy day today. And um, as you can see here, we have um, jobless claims um, this morning. We have uh, the natural gas report. I wouldn't expect that to move um, much around. A bunch of bond events here. But the big granddaddy of the day is the FOMC announcement here at 2 o'clock p.m. So kind of keep in mind that it is entirely possible, even after we've had such a massive rally, that the market could just get really, really quiet and choppy as we wait for the FOMC. Now, I don't think anyone is expecting them to raise rates today. Uh, or very few would be expecting that, but it's certainly um, uh, not outside the, outside the realm of possibility. So we'll want to watch that really, really closely and pay attention 
to what's going on here um, as we head into that. So don't be too surprised if we get a little light and choppy today as we wait for that decision. So with that, hey, let's take a look. Um, a couple things going on here in the market that are just uh, pretty darn amazing in these rallies. And we've seen some really good charts moving up here. Dollar General moving up very, very sharply. We had a really good price move here in PZZA yesterday off of an earnings report. I think PZZA is all set up to move higher. If you guys are um, watching this or interested, Kind of keep an eye on that PZZA looking really, really strong here and um, more upside potential, I think, coming in that chart. Keep an eye on it. We've, we've mentioned FireEye here in the past. FireEye made a great move up here and you can see it ran into this resistance level. I'm going to pull this back, ran into this important resistance level here. So right now I would keep FireEye on the list, but I would expect a little bit of a rest or a pullback to come in here. We'll want to watch this for a new entry into the trade. And congratulations, I've just heard from a ton of people that made really good money on, on that call um, just the other day. So um, congrats to everyone for taking advantage of that. What a beautiful, beautiful move in the chart. Um, let's see, we have Walmart here. Walmart's made a substantial move since the um, the original call here on Walmart. This is rallying up toward a resistance level up there around 105. So we'll want to watch that area for a potential pullback. But here again, Walmart just responding and looking very, very well. Any rest or pullback in here could certainly be um, an outstanding trade to be keeping an eye on. Another that I'm... Um, some of the techs that uh, are starting to come around. Um, Intel here. Intel putting in a really nice pattern here, breaking higher at the end of the day yesterday and looking uh, pretty darn good after breaking its downtrend and kind of holding that area as support and then breaking through. So now we want to watch Intel for the opportunity for more upside move here and it's looking just really good. So hopefully those are helpful and you put some of those on your list and maybe watch those. I, I really truly hope that everyone has an opportunity to uh, bank some profits here this week. And with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And with that, I want to wish you great profits. So please do me a favor, click those subscribe buttons. And um, I want to say thank you uh, for taking the time to watch this video all the way through. You guys are awesome. So um, with that, have an awesome day. We'll see you all right back here bright and early Friday morning. I wish you all great success. Never give up on yourself and we'll see you all on the other side. Take care now. <music>